Welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft Mr. Pandaria Remix Farming video. I, I almost mess up that intro every single time. Today we're going over yet another farm. This one in particular is going to be in uh, the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. Uh, the reason why I'm starting here, which is not actually the main farming spot, but right here at the Golden Stair, there's two packs of mobs. And just to start this out, we're going to kill these. These do not hyper spawn. This is very important. But I always start out the farm here, and you can come back to this around every two or three minutes. These do respawn, and that's where you want to go go back to because they give a good amount of stuff. They also almost always give uh, ancient go Golai cash keys. Now that's actually the farm that we're going to talk about today, right here. Ruins of Golai, Golai, Golai halls. However you want to, you know, pronounce these two names. This is the farm that we're doing. This used to be a gold farming spot back in Mr. Pandaria. And I wanted to test this one out because with these particular keys, you can actually open up some chests. And I was wondering whether or not we were going to be able to use those to be able to get bronze and threads and things like that. So I uh, decided to farm these different spots. So what you want to do is around the ruins of Golai, uh, I can actually give you an aerial perspective here. All of these ruins, right, in these locations, right here, up here, all of the places where you'll be able to see, like, a big stack of mobs, because these all, every single one of them, have the chance to give you keys. Now, these keys, just because of, it depends on your, you know, your item level, how strong you are, and how fast you can actually kill these mobs, um, for how many keys you can get the average I would say if you're killing them I mean it's hard to give you an average because everyone's at a different power level in this particular mode but I would say anywhere between 40 and 60 of these keys is actually very feasible unless you get super unlucky or there's a lot of competition here well I've been here I farmed this spot for a couple of hours now. It doesn't really seem like there's any bad competition most of the time. I don't think people know too much about this place. It's also a little more uh, interesting than most other farms. Because you're not going to be able to do it all in the same way. Because uh, obviously you're going to have these keys that you have to worry about. Now where you use these keys is you want to go to Gualai Halls. And you want to walk down here. Now we do have to go on a bit of a trek. And I want to show you guys a couple of things that we are actually interested in down here. These particular mobs are very, very good to kill too because they drop, they drop, you know, everything that we need as well as uh, all the mobs upstairs. So there's not a reason to just skip over these. You might as well kill them as you're going towards it. Now, when I actually go down and I want to use some of the keys that I've collected, I usually go down here. And I walk straight down to the keys. If you walk straight ahead here, I'll show you. If you walk straight ahead here through this door and downstairs, you'll come down to it. There's also uh, another place where you can open it. But I usually go down here because there's a lot of chests. But you can clean out this whole area and not have any issues uh, because there's a lot of lot of different farm, you know, farmable mobs. There's also a couple of, I guess you can call it rares. And by the way, when you walk over this floor, just walk over the yellow pellets. If you walk over these, these are actually going to do quite a lot of damage to your character, even though it is the mob remix. So all of the yellow tiles are the ones that you want to walk over. You also want to avoid standing too still in these statues because these guys are going to do heavy hitting. Uh, if you're low on your item level or your cloak power, you will potentially get one shot. Just saying. Now, when we do get down here, um, you can actually, if you want to, you can kill this guy as well. It's not that important. But you see right here, these chests or caches, whatever you want to call them. These right here are the ones we want to use it on. And there's a lot in here. Uh, they do take a little bit to respawn, so you might have to run back and forth. But as you can see, they give uh, reputation. We don't really care about reputation because killing these bombs, you're going to reach exalted really quickly. Now, right here, you're going to be able to see that we're getting, not only are we getting one of these cache of infinite treasures on every single one, we're also getting one lesser charm of good fortune. Now, 
you can turn 10 of them in at, you know, the daily quest areas for any of the reputations and you can get yourself another cache of infinite treasures. It's not really that great, but still, I mean, it's something and we'll take it. It also does drop gold. Gold doesn't really matter that much in the mop remake, so I don't care about that too much. But every single one of these that we open, we get a cache of infinite treasures, and that's what we care about. And we also, I mean, you could say one every 10 chests, you're getting another cache, which is pretty cool. If you still are not exalted with some of the rotations, I guess you can also, you know, get it from that, which is, you know, like it, it'll help out some people, I suppose. Um, but just to give you an idea, well, there is actually another individual here. That's all that this farm is. Um, the good thing about this is these are not the only way that you're getting bronze, right? These are not the only way that you're getting threads because as you're farming, as you're farming for these particular keys, you can actually very easily, uh, get enough just by killing all the mobs by themselves, right? All the mobs that you kill while farming the keys are going to give you just as much as any other open world farm. So this is just a nice extra bonus. As for the actual bronze gains per hour, uh, based on the couple of hours that I've been here now, if you, you know, if you scrap all your gear, you count in all the extra bronze that you get from your caches. And then if you also scrap all the gems and everything like that, this is in the range of the 12 to 15 K. I think you could potentially push for 20. If you end up killing these mobs really quickly or you have zero competition, that is maybe something that's possible, but it's something that it, at least this is a good uh, contender for a lot of other open world farms. This is, I like this one in particular as well because it's a nice, uh, what do you call it? It's a nice, solo farm right solo farms are some of the better ones and especially the ones that don't have too much competition just because there's so many other farms out there like two by fours uh that, that you can you can queue up for in the group finder where it'll be something that is so overloaded with people that you probably won't have that much of a great time and i know a lot of you guys also don't really enjoy having to rely on other people to be able to farm. So I understand that too. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's a part of every game mode. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this farm in particular or any other farms in the game currently, make sure you throw that down in the comments below. And as we say remix, as every single other video I've said it, if you watched all the way to this particular point in the video, and I know I said it again, I know, let me know. Flame me in the comments below for saying that too many times. Type remix in the comments below if you watched this far. I really appreciate all the support on these videos. I know for all the gold making fans, this isn't really gold making related, but you know, it's something that I'm actually really enjoying right now. And I hope you guys are enjoying it just as much as I am. And yeah, but I'm going to stop yapping now. That's going to be everything that I had for this video. I have a couple other ideas lined up. So make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel and also like the video. And make sure that you come back for uh, any future stuff. But yeah, until the next one. See ya.